Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach point of sale system step by step part 38 tutorial. In our last tutorial, we saw the stuff of category table. Here, I, I, I need one button to cancel this one. So, here, uh, put the put one button for cancellation. After complete the process, if you want to quit the page, you need one cancel button. I forgot to put my last tutorial so that I put here cancel so that the, you can exit the form here. You can write this dot close. If you call call uh, call, uh, call this method, your form will be closed. Okay. Now back to our form item change form here now i successfully completed my category uh, category part now i'm uh, go to the brand part brand that do the same thing in my brand form also okay i need the these three fields and one uh, data grid view and four buttons i need same thing in here so I'm going to again I'm going to design the form one two three fields so I need arrange them in the order this one will be the ID I will be do it quickly because I already done this stuff before otherwise it's uh, boring select all and increase the font size a little bit need two three uh, text boxes as well arrange them in the order same thing we did in earlier this will be the description so that you have to click as a multi line ok perfect now I need one data grid view drag on your phone adjust the size you want ok perfect now I need 4 buttons buttons one two three four well, let's increase a little bit let's change the name as here update okay, let's change the name as delete here let's change the name as cancel here load load the data grid view let me call the name as load data ok now let me back to our coding view now the same coding you have to do here double click on the first uh, you have to import the namespaces go back here we already imported the namespaces here connection also already there because when you the same form containing two fields one is a brand and uh, tab one is a category another one is a 
brand so you no need to again you have to write the uh, connection here connection is already there on the phone window now what i'm going to do it is the same thing you have to put here so here mm. once the form is loaded this two data will be loaded one is a category field also loaded that at the same time brand field also loaded so here when the form is loaded here this will be for uh, category again i'm going to copy here here let me change the name as okay load here i'm going to put this one change as a load one load one i'm going to change the code as here click the brand this one i'm going to load all the data from the uh, brand table so here brands brands okay please ca be careful when you are writing the name of here name of the same name you have to give here then only the data will be loaded put into the data adapter as we did earlier and uh, after that you have to create the data uh, table after that fill the fill uh, data adapter after that the data uh, table uh, object you put here and equal into the data grid view okay successfully it will be loaded okay let me check it if it is working successful or not uh, click on this one Oh, sorry i didn't call this math method from the uh, on the form load here okay load one one will be belongs to category table load one will be belongs to uh, brands table that's the difference between load and load one okay okay let's do it here successfully again what happened okay let's execute again something happened what's wrong something wrong brands let me change the name here ad1 ad1 now let me execute the same data something wrong brands brand beer brands same is okay okay the problem will be data grid view 2 okay because this this one will be data grid view 1 name will be this name will be data grid view 2 so that the data will be not display on the list okay so let me change as here data grid view 2 okay that is the wrong okay the data grid view 1 will be belongs to category data grid view 2 will be belongs to brands okay here the data grid view mean data grid view 2 this mean data grid view 1 that's the difference okay okay let me start it here loading successfully you can see here the same stuff you have to do the uh, the text boxes also let me do it let me increase the size a little bit now what i am going to do is here i am I'm, I'm going to write the coding in this uh, cell sorry not this one i am going to increase i am going to sorry this one I'm, i have to increase the size of this little bit now what i am going to do is here select the property which is a cell click the cell click will be there double click on this one it's bring you to your bring back to your coding view here here what i'm going to do is the same coding you have to 
copy and paste here as we did in uh, did that uh, data grid view same coding you have to copy it and paste on the data grid view to cell here here what I am going to uh, change is I am going to change the data grid view to here after that ID will be the same here the brand also ID will be available name will be available the column also same then here you have to change one thing this one will be that one will be category this one will be the brands successfully after that you have to change the name of the text boxes each so let's back to our code here here the default name will be txt1 i am going to change the brand name here brand brand text boxes uh, sorry brand tab click on the text boxes here i am going to change the name as txt id sorry so we change the name as we already defined the name in my category also txt uh, b uh, t t b i d this one will be the brand this one will be t b name text brand name this one will be t b description t b description okay. successfully change the names now what i'm going to do is here going to according to the relevant fields here txt sorry it's not pop up you just write this txt as a name if you have any problem you just copy this one name go back here you can paste if you have any doubt like this there's no error you can paste like this another one is t b name i gave okay here t b d s i gave there you can see here t b d s i gave here the name field i gave t b name okay I successfully I put here description okay okay let me execute the program and see whether it's working or not brand if you click this one here successfully it will be displayed like this okay it's successfully displayed now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to change the one here I'm going to little bit I reduce the size of the data grid okay so perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the coding of update and delete stuff okay let me moving to the coding part update double click on the update button here within the update button the same coding which you uh, wrote on the category you copy this one the same coding you no need to write again by again and paste into your brand here brand update button same coding here here what you are going to do is all are same all the fields are same you see this fields and this fields is there any different the both fields are same what i'm going to do is here you have to just change the name only this one will be belongs to category this one will be belongs to what one that one will be belongs to category this one will be belongs to brands so you have to write brands set name here the same fields are available brand also the brand fields the same fields are available if you take a look at uh, category 
the same field name here this one also same field name you don't need to uh, change anything else okay you have to just change the name of the table only other stuffs are same you don't need to change anything else the other stuff are change uh, uh, same okay okay let me test it whether it's working or not mm, okay click on this one I'm going to update IP new IP new then click update button update successfully now you can now it is not I haven't called the method here okay here load one here once the load once the once is updated successfully again I'm I'm loading the four so that I call this method loading mean this function load function as we wrote earlier this load one when the form is loaded this one the, the function will be loaded so that you can view the record once the record has been updated again the automatically it is refreshing so that I the the after uh, display this message I put this I call it again this uh, method so that the form will be refreshing okay okay let me test that again i'm going to before test that again i'm calling this method this one load data also so anything wrong you can refresh this mean refresh okay now let me click the changes now bring to the uh, brands tab here click on this one toss here also i'm going to change toss new here also toss new okay yeah. update it it won't update anything else whatever let me check it update brands text box name sorry sorry sorry, sorry this is not a text box name we change the name of the text boxes so that the problem will be coming from these fields here this field name will be tb name this field name will be tbds that will be the wrong so that is not updated correct the mistakes here so t this will be tb name text box this one will be tb this id will be tb ID. okay if anything wrong you can if you have any confused you can click this one and check it tb id tb name tb this okay i didn't change the name okay i change i uh, so that the data will be not updated okay because i copied from the coding from the uh, category updated button and put into the brand button also the same uh, the same button here category table button name will be sorry text box name will be txt name the uh, txt this uh, txt id the same name i gave there so that i did it upload uh, update the record if i change after that i change it here as like this but i gave the name as a brand tables sorry brand uh, text boxes now you will be able to update it okay let me test it whether it is updated or not click this one ip new here ip brand new only click update it here it is uh, updated successfully okay now if you click another record like this okay okay guys uh, i hopefully you understood so far in my next tutorial i'm going to teach how to delete the records for uh, brands table if you like my channel please subscribe me thank you for watching